Hey everyone, welcome back. This is my bike Discover 125 BS4 2017 model. The brake is still in usable range but I am changing it. Loosen and take off the right side axle nut. In Bajaj bikes, you can find the spanner from the toolkit. Then come to the left hand side and loosen the nut. The size of the spanner is not available in the bike toolbox so you have to buy a separate one. After completing the previous step, you need to just loosen the 10mm nuts as I am showing here, but no need to take it off. Same step to be implemented on the right hand side as well. I have already uploaded a video on the exact spanner sizes which are used for the chain tight, you can watch that in my playlist. Then we need to remove the lever brake and rod brake by removing this brake adjuster nut. You can also use your fingers to remove this rod by applying pressure on rear brake by other end. Next take a cutting player and remove the split pin. Use a ring spanner to remove this nut. The best ring spanner set you can buy is Stanley ring spanner set. I have already uploaded that video and you can find it on my channel. Put pressure on rear brake and remove the rod brake. I am placing a cloth on the floor when I remove the axle this collar falls down. Come to left hand side and remove the axle completely. You can observe that collar fell on the cloth I have placed on the floor. After that, push the wheel towards right side to disengage it from damper hub. Here is the collar. Next, I am removing the torque rod and remove the wheel easily. You can visit my channel's playlist to get more videos on bike service and it is applicable for universal all bikes. Here. I have spread the bike cover on the floor to place the wheel for pad replacement. This pack contains the rear brake pads that I brought from the Bajaj service center. Note down the part number and the price as well. On the side there is Bajaj logo. If we scratch it then genuine word will be seen which indicates it is original. By watching my videos from my channel, you can avoid going for service center for any small services or even big services as well. Cut the cover and start to replace. If anyone is doing this for the first time, then remember that putting the springs to new brake pads and fixing it to the wheel is bit difficult task and you need to try it again and again. Take a look at the old brake pads. They are still in usable condition but the reason I am replacing is that it's making huge screeching sound whenever I put the brake. I suspect some metal particles making this sound but it's good to replace it before something goes bad. Observe the way I remove it and how to fix it back. You need to retain the springs from the old pads and use it for new pads. I do recommend you to subscribe to my channel and keep watching my upcoming videos as well so that you can avoid going for service center for small things. It takes some more time to put the springs back and align the pads but you need to give it try. Now I am fixing them back. It's fixed now and ready to attach to the wheel.
If you go to the local spare parts shop then you will get the parts that are rejected pieces by the quality control team of that company. So always buy the parts from the service center and also check for any damages or scratches before billing at the service center. It's always best thing to clean the internal side of the up section using a cloth. In case anyone watching this video require any specific part number for any bike then ask your questions in the comment section. Also you can share me the video of the problem on your bike on my Instagram messages. I will check and give you solutions. Here I am just cleaning the dust from the axle section but always I have recommended grease to apply to axle before you fit back the axle. Once it is attached to the wheel, you must rotate it once to check if it is rotating freely or not. Finally attach the wheel back to the bike and at the right side you must align the damper up. Next put back the collar. Now from the right side or left side take a look into the hole of the axle section to check the alignment of the collar. You should see the maximum hole before inserting the axle. Now insert the axle and apply some grease before doing it. Go to right hand side and adjust the collar to bring the axle out at the right side. And the task is not finished yet. You need to adjust the chain. I have already uploaded the chain adjustment video, you can watch it on my channel. And these are the tools I have used to fix the brake rod and lever at the rear end. Fix the torque rod and then move to the brake rod. My suggestion to those who want to change or looking to change their brake pads is to do it yourself because if you go to service center or local garage they handle your bike in a least bothered way which may most of the time lead to scratches to the bike. To fix the brake rod, push the rear brake which moves the brake rod to move forward then you can attach it to the lever. Put the axle nut at right side. Insert the axle nut at the right side. Now I have completed chain adjustment and checking the wheel free movement. It's moving freely. You can see here the chain is having some gap which is perfect for my bike and this poly gloves goes to the bin.